Hello? <clears throat> Hi. Uh, so, Quartz, uh, Quartz server is blown up. <laughs> For those who are even in it. Um, so, uh, I didn't want to really, I didn't feel like playing any games. Hi. Super Gamer, it's been 5 billion years. Well, actually, you did pop in not too long ago. You popped in earlier this month. Um, so this is gonna be... I wanted to try something different. So, since you guys are here, I wanted to show you something. Haha! <laughs> See this? Welcome to the harbor. <laughs> no, you're blind? Uh-oh. Also, chat box is in the front. There we go. All right, welcome to the harbor. That's what I'm naming this random section of whenever we're just talking and nothing else is really going on. So that's what this is gonna be. Isn't that exciting? I, I worked really hard on this. That's why I'm streaming a little bit later than I normal is because I've been waiting for this to render. <laughs> I, it's a pain in the fucking ass, okay? It was a pain in the ass to make this. I wanted to try something different. Um, the background is uh, is r slash place, by the way. <laughs> if you can't, if you couldn't tell, so you have all the different little things going on on there, which is pretty cool. Uh, is there anything else I should add to this? Probably. What's a sponsor banner? What the fuck? Subscription goal. Oh yeah, I should put a subscription goal. Of course. Of course. So, I don't know how today's stream's gonna go at all. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, I guess. Hi. How are you? Aiden Nipples. What tier sub am I again? You're tier one. You were tier 2 last month, and uh, this year, this month you're uh, tier 1. By the way, if you're wondering where the sounds went whenever you would subscribe, um, the sound effects didn't fit with the theme of the, of the channel anymore. Um, and also, when I was doing podcast stuff, um, I didn't want it to be- I didn't want the, the podcast to randomly go and blare noises. Um, so I turned those off for a bit, uh, so then it's less, um, distracting of the stream itself. That's the only reason I didn't do that. Um, I still don't even know what I want to, if I even want to put sound effects, and I don't even know what they would, would be to fit the theme at all. Maybe it could be a pirate, pirate, or, like, fit, like, just something, like, sea-related or something. Like, probably, like, a pirate arg noise. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I, I, I don't know why I, I, I'm sticking to, like, island-related stuff now, but I guess whatever. <laughs> it looks cool, so I guess there's that. Also, I like fish. Fishing stuff. So, um... Let's see. What do I want to talk about? Uh, I guess, uh... I saw my friends yesterday, like I said I would, and I don't know what's going on, but, uh, talk about you? Um, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about you, and then I'll talk about what I was gonna talk about. <laughs> what do you wanna, I guess, um, ooh, okay, so, from what I understand, I wanted to talk about this real quick, before I talk about you, because <laughs> apparently, I, need, I guess I should talk about you. Um, bad. No, not bad. No. I, um, so Super Meat Boy Forever came out not too long ago. I didn't even realize it came out. And guess what? <laughs> it's a, it's a mobile game, uh, made for PC. It's terrible. Uh, it's not good at all 
from what I've heard. It, well, it's just, it's nothing like the actual game, like the original Super Meat Boy. So if anything, it's kind of, it kind of seems like more of a cash grab than it was an actual game. Uh, and a lot of people do believe that, feel like they're like, oh yeah, you know, they, these developers, they worked hard, we get what they were trying to go for, but it doesn't work out. Because it's a mobile game for PC. And I agree. I don't think, uh, and one person literally said, it's more fun to watch than it is to play. <laughs> and I'm like, I guess that would be most rhythm game players, huh? But I don't, I don't, I guess that wouldn't be the case for rhythm game players or else they wouldn't be playing rhythm games, right? Anyways, what's, what is there to talk about you, super gamer, huh? What is there to talk about? You pop in, you exist, and then you disappear and you stop existing. Yeah, the bell is 100% shipped <laughs> they had bells it's weird that i have my my whole situation here has turned into pirate island fish sea related with a mix of angst it's odd and bells yeah and bells yeah yeah you're the one who started the bell meme because you would constantly harass me. You, you constantly harassed me uh, to ring the bell. 513. You're proud of it? Yeah. When are you going to I want I want to I'm waiting for you to say stuff in the uh, the Church of the Bell Discord server that you still have, but it's inactive. Actually, no, you deleted it. Oh, no, no, no. It's right there. It's right there. Church of the Bell. Yes, it has some of the OGs in it still. Well, the OGs still pop in, but Lucky Lasagna still pops in. Uh, Sam will pop in, spam yeet, and then fuck off. Uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, it's nice. Um, we, we're, I'm still get, slowly getting new, you know, returning people popping in. It's nice. I've been, um... I tried out Legend of Bumbo today. Um, since it's 50% off right now, you can get it for $8 uh, on Steam. It's, um... Really? It's really interesting. If you like Bejeweled... Uh... Yeah. Then you'll probably like it, I guess. If you like matching shapes. And it goes... Poof! And it adds a little bit of some roguelite elements into it. It's pretty cool. I can't win. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm trying to win at life. I'm trying to. I'm trying. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame. I'm almost at 200 followers. And a person who is at 250 followers has a more reoccurring viewer base than mine. And I stream way more often than they do. I stream pretty much every single day. <laughs> it's sad. Maybe that just says something. Maybe my maybe my viewers are more mature. They have an actual life. <laughs> they don't have time to be sitting here watching me. Which is fine. I just like talking to you guys. <laughs> uh This is this whole bit that we're doing today is a scheme yeah you come at least once a week now you do yeah but you're always busy with work it's completely you're completely understandable half of you guys are i i understand like you and sam and lucky lasagna i'm sure you guys have work in school you have to focus on so i don't it's not like it's a big deal i just wish to talk i could talk to you guys more that's it i've already, i've said that since like day one yeah school skull skull but yeah, this is this is a this is a massive scam to try to get more viewers. Because apparently according to Twitch, this is my most viewed uh, category. And that's probably because I did a 10 hour stream of me watching Zero Two dance. Yeah. I've also been procrastinating 
on uh yeah play roblox for figures i uh, that's not true as of late super gamer i've been playing i played roblox for the past i have I've done two streams of roblox and i have not gotten any viewers for those yeah unless i put i think the the thing is is i have to put only adults can watch this and then people will be too, so intrigued they'll actually watch it but so far as of late whenever i've been playing the game on stream nothing i've gotten like a one viewer and the one viewer stream labs and that's for like multiple hours <laughs> roblox sex mod <laughs> roblox sex game pass I, I'm gonna go on a rant on Roblox again. I swear to God. I'll do it right now. I fucking. I'm so mad about Roblox. Hey, okay. Listen. Oh my God, why am I. Okay, one of my friends is playing. What's wrong with Roblox? What's fucking wrong with Roblox is that they're apparently p making it so they're, they're so fucking lazy, they're gonna make their users do their job. Because they're, they're just like, ah. Fuck it. We're gonna make uh, other spot. We're gonna make others people um, who are less talented. Well, that's fucked up to say, but <laughs> who are we gonna make people who are less talented work on this thing? Uh, do this thing that we could do ourselves, and we pay people to do. <laughs> I I mean, is that weird? Is that messed up for me to think that that's just making them making people lose their jobs if we're allowing people to do it for free at that point? Cause fuck, dude. I I remember when every Christmas they'd roll out every single day a present that you could purchase, and it'd give you an item. And every single year, every single Halloween, Christmas, um, Easter, all those, they would have special event limited time items that you could buy, and then you could get them, and you'd be like, "Oh my God, this is so cool! I feel so exclu- I feel like I have this exclusive item." Now they don't even do shit. And not only that, they're even messing up how they do their characters. They, they, they look, they're, I don't know why they're trying to make them look realistic. The game was never supposed to be realistic to begin with. It was never to be, it was never supposed to be realistic to begin with. And yet they put like these humanoid characters that looked like freaks. They looked like Barbie dolls if they were burned to death. Uh, and then like, and then like painted them like a cone of beige. I, I, I don't... They should have just stuck with Roblox 1.0 and 2.0. That's it. They never needed to evolve it. Never. Their most iconic character is the 1.0. Or maybe even the 2.0. But 1.0 is their most iconic thing. Now that you have all of these users creating items and shit... It's, it's just turned into a shit post. I... Okay. I had... Let me look. I <laughs> Let me look at this. Okay, so I have a picture I want to show you. I have multiple actually. Um you like play. I'm boomer. I'm a I'm a Roblox boomer. You can f call me that because it's true. Played since 2011. Yeah. 2011 2009 to 2013. 2012 is probably the best point in its life for me or i'd say maybe even 2013 but 2013 they were going like a weird weird phase with like its ui and stuff actually throughout those years they were doing like they were in such an awkward like teen phase so here's some of the shit that i'm trying to talk to you about you see this i have nothing against fuck i have nothing against furries but this was just shit posted. It's the same thing, recolored, and they just throw it on there. All at once. They don't have a system. Okay, Roblox, if you're gonna have users create things, they should you should realize that people are gonna make the same item, but in different color schemes. You might as well make a new system for the shop where there's a pull down menu you click it and it lets you choose the different colored options that they've created on one item so then your store isn't filled with this shit and you know what's even more messed up is that there's more there's more oh yeah 
The rabbit hole gets deeper, baby. And this is just the three pages. This is just three pages of it, alright? We're not even at the... We're not even at the... the. There was, like, even more than this. See? This is what happens when you give the users the ability to create whatever, almost whatever they want. I feel like hats had exclusivity and you had to kind of be more creative with what you could buy. And they they don't even make limiteds anymore. Half the limiteds they make are still limited items. They, no one has bought them. It's so depressing. Oh my god. I could go hours. I could go on hours ranting about new Roblox. I'd still play it, obviously, because the games, there are good games in there. There are good games. The issue is that it's flooded with a bunch of dog shit. And these good games that are being made for almost free, because you never know if they're actually veteran creators or not, content creators, but you have these people who are just fucking... They put hours into working on it. And then it gets flooded by tycoon games and and simulator games. It's almost to the point where normal legitimate games have to put simulator in the title or have to have pets in it or else it's just not going to get any kind of attention. Are you used to be good? No, they weren't. <laughs> they got better. Um, tycoon games at one point in time and still are, are actual tycoon games. Uh, tycoon games of before and of now have the ability to wait until you get enough money to push a button. You're playing a clicker game in disguise with less steps. And even even tycoon games have clickers in them. It's like fuck, dude. Do you... Oh my god. And but t there's tycoon games, restaurant tycoon. Uh what was it called? Retail tycoon. Fucking mint tycoon. Although mint tycoon is also just a weight game. That's more... I like Mint Tycoon for my own reasons. When they were first coming out, when they were original, I wouldn't say that. Uh, I don't think Who Killed Spongebob Tycoon is really a, an original idea. But that's just me. Uh, yeah, you have actual Tycoon games that are being made similarly to original Tycoon games like Roller Coaster Tycoon. You have an actual Roller Coaster Tycoon game in here as well that's really well made. Cleaning sim uh, Simulator. It's a shame that they named it Cleaning, Cleaning Simulator. McDonald's Tycoon. That one's terrible. Uh, it's fine though, but it's... The thing is, if you're gonna have those clicker... It's like 5,000 of those, yeah. Here's my ideal. If you're going to have a, a tycoon game that is basically the McDonald's tycoon where you wait for money, you pick up the money, you hit the button, make it last like five hours with a save option maybe. Um, one of my favorite tycoon games is one of those games where it's a called Ship Tycoon. He hasn't updated it because... I don't know why he hasn't. He needs to. Do, the creator needs to fix it because it's one of my favorite tycoon games, and because of of Roblox updates, it's completely ruined the um the respawning of the items. Because the beginning of the game is a clicker game. You have to click the button to make the blocks, and the block makes money. Um, and what I liked about it is that it's so ridiculous to the point where it's just stupid. Um, and I find that really funny. It's almost a parody. Battleship Cold. I remember playing Battleship, uh, Creo Battleship games. If you guys remember Creo Battleship, um, actually, I have played Battleship. Yeah, I played this, actually. I really like this game. The issue with it is that there's not nearly enough players whenever I was playing it at the time. Um, I, I like to get on the turret and just shoot the fuck out of people who are trying to get onto the turrets to kill me, and I just immediately shoot them. 
it's fun. It's a really fun game. But that's cool that they updated it. And it's actually starting to get some amount of playability right now. 315 players. I, I wish there was more. It's it's good. It's on the... In that game... But the issue with them is that they're good for about 15 minutes. And then you get bored of them. Because it's the same thing. It's rinse and repeat. They need to have um, some kind of difference to them. Same with Zeppelin Wars. 10 pounders... <laughs> 10 pounders at people instead of the ship. <laughs> it looks like they added new ships too. Um, whenever I was playing this, they only had like the two, the two of the same ships. The one, one of the same ships or whatever. But um, yeah, it's, it's good. It's, I, I'll have to give it a try on my own time again. Cause it's, it's a, it's a game I like for the sake of just I don't know. It's it's the same. It has the same likability as Zeppelin Wars. Also, what are my friends playing? Vestria. What the fuck is Vestria? Oh, it's just another R. It's just another one of those shitty RPG games. Okay. Um, Slime Tycoon. Why? Or Tycoon Two. Shitty. Uh, Tiny Town. Tiny Town. That actually sounds interesting. Build your own town into a thriving. I actually like that idea. I like that tiny town. I might, I might actually play it. Am I friends with you? On yeah, you are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in my favorites. Tiny town actually looks interesting, um, to me. Because uh, it's it reminds me of Conquest Three. Kind of coincidence that yesterday my friend got banned from Roblox and you're talking about Roblox right now. Is that a coincidence considering it's the number two most played uh, multiplayer game of all time? Second, it's the second game next to Minecraft. What's my name? Uh, the Dalton LP. We were friends on here. You're you're online right now. You're in like the top people who are online on my friends list. I know over you over here with your 170 friends for no reason, person. Where you were me when I was younger, where I just accepted every friend request that wasn't a guest. Hundred ninety-eight. It looked. It said a hundred and seventy for me. It says right here, hundred and seventy friends. Yeah, are are like half of them banned? Is that? Are you counting the ones that are banned? Cause I don't see those. That's not me then. You're not super super gaming underscore gamer three seven five. I don't know then, apparently uh, that was you, but alright. <laughs> I was pretty sure that was you, because he joined me on a stream one time. Unless you got hacked, and then you lost your account. Send me your profile link? How about uh, you just look me up, like I, I told you the name. It's literally... There you go. Have fun. I really... Okay, I will say this. I don't like... Um, I don't like the first uh, thing. Whenever it shows the founder. The founder picture instead of my subscriptions. Which are the level key cards from SCP Containment Breach. Which probably could get me in big trouble at some point. But I don't care. It was the only thing I could think of at the time because I was this SCP Containment Breach streamer. Yeah, get upset, whatever. Whatever. You're... <laughs> Are you shallow Justin21? <laughs> or not? <laughs> Are you shallow... You're shallow Justin, okay. I always thought you were super gamer gaming. 
because it's literally the exact same name, and you joined me in a game one time and sent me a friend request, so I thought that was you. Yeah. Rebranding? Rebranding what? I'm still kind of... You know what I should do? Oh, super... Such nerd. Oh, God. I... You know, whenever I rebranded my name, it was literally just my PSN name. Because Lonely Island was taken. So... I'm pretty sure I've already told you that. I would I would be surprised if I didn't tell you that. Because I... I'm pretty sure I did. But you probably don't remember. I don't know. 1v1. No, fuck off. I'm not. No. 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 I don't like those fuckers who just randomly join in my chat when I'm playing Roblox and they just go 1v1. 1v1 me. And then they don't explain what the fuck they're talking about. And then you're saying on randomizer. What do you mean randomizer? What randomizer? Is there a Lucky Blocks game that you're referring to that I don't know exists because I don't play those? Resident Sleeper. No? Then what are you talking about? What's Randomizer? I don't know what you're talking about. I've never played Randomizer! I don't know what the fuck that is. Randomizer, Randomizer. Oh my god. I hate this. No. No, that, that has copyrighted music. It's really good. 20 plus emotes. That's great. Yeah, we gotta appeal to the kids. Let's add emotes. Let's add Fortnite dances because that's what's popular in that Fortnite game. Haha, <laughs> Bubba Booey. That's a funny meme, right? No. Oh yeah, that's right. I think, um, VIPs can post links. I also made it whitelisted so people can post YouTube video links and, um, uh, anyone can post YouTube video links and I think even Twitter posts? I'm not sure about Twitter posts. Um, and then, um, and then I think also just Twitch clips. What is this shitty game? It was made in 2020. Yeah, what a surprise. Pornhub? No, no. Pornhub? No, sorry. <laughs> I, I had a- I, I, I made a Pornhub account at one point, and then it got hacked at some point, and I guess the account got banned. They posted one video on there. I never used it. I just made the account one time, and then never used it again. You know, they, they have you call to rem I was like, I was thinking, maybe I should just remove that because I'm, I don't use it. Maybe I should just remove it from the website. And then it turns, like, it's just a stupid system where you have to, like, call them. Come and get verified. Nah. That's easy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this game is not meant for mobile. Yeah. Look at the randomizer where everything here is random. Respawn with random weapons, mainly as taunts and specials. That's stupid. Kinda. Whenever, whenever Roblox stopped caring about their updates for their games, I feel like it- Or like, not their updates, their events. They stopped doing events. It, you're stupid. Yeah? Well, if it means I don't like that game, then good. Oh, you're a member now. You're a fan of the Cretan crew now. Yeah. I removed that from my About Me section for now because I don't know if we're doing anything with it at the moment. So it's just put off to the side and it's just been sitting there forever. So I just got rid of it to save up, like, s open up some room or whatever. Make a contributor's room. Uh, what does a contributor do? I, 
I don't really do Roblox like groups well. One of my my ones that I had on my main thing was the official um, Eric Castle fan club because Eric Castle is a really cool dude. He made some of the most he made some of the best event stuff in anything related to the game. He he put so much passion into it. It's a shame that he passed. But ever since he passed, honestly, that's when Roblox really went down the shitter in terms of like making content on the on their website. I can't I can't say that it wasn't in, it wasn't genius. You paid money? I want it. Uh I don't I don't know how to do that. I'm not gonna do that right now. Cause it's a lot of work to figure out how to do right now. So I'll do that probably off stream. Make sure to remind me because I might forget. Nerd head. I'm sorry, but I don't want to do that right now. That's not my focus. I'm not trying to... I'm not legitimately trying to do anything related to gaming at all. Or anything related to getting... Doing things that is not related to just talking. Super gamer. 09255. Me and, and Scottish Oppie. I don't think I ever want to touch an Obby again after beating the longest Obby on stream. Nah. 1v1 me and Mega Fart Obby. How about that? I'm not going to do it because this is not a gaming stream on Roblox. This is not a Roblox gaming stream. Which longest Obby? It was the longest Obby on Roblox. It has over... Or like 20. Well then the one I played. Which had over 900 levels. <laughs> levels. I was like halfway through before I started streaming. So I streamed it. The rest of the way through. Let me see if I can find it. Because I'm pretty sure I have it in my favorites. Because I know I do. Yeah it's called the longest super fun obby. 991 checkpoints or no 901 checkpoints and there's actually a second one there's like the there's a very last challenge that you can do which is actually impossible uh, apparently some people have done it but it's let me see here how many people have actually gotten the achievement there be obstacle 901 so there's 900 checkpoints there's only t only 2189 people I'm pretty sure half those people have hacked the game to get it. Or paid for it, because I'm pretty sure you could probably pay for it. I wouldn't be surprised. But, who knows. But yeah. Only 10,000 people have completed it. It's a pain in the ass. And it came out in 2011, so it was the original. <laughs> It was, in fact, the original, though. Uh, and it's uh, a lot of copy and paste. A lot. You'll be 1,001. 1 trillion, billion, gazillion, and 1. SCP-1001. One v one me and SCP one thousand and one. Oh wait, no, it's three thousand and eight, right? Yeah. One v one me and SCP three thousand and eight. Bet. Or one v one me and pool, online. Or Ronopoly. I've been playing a lot of Ron Ronopoly. There's some things on there, like um. I think the sewing has actually been fixed, but there's no like, there's no like dev logs or any like update logs. 
I assume I'd have to join their Discord server to get any kind of update logs to know what has been fixed. You have work tomorrow? Can't do Ronopoly? You, have you played it? It only takes like an hour. Or less to beat it. Because it's really dumb. How you win. You could win by just literally buying all the railroads. If you got lucky and landed on every single railroad in one turn, you'd get- you'd literally beat the game immediately. As far as I know. Yeah. I beat the game once from just buying railroads. And I'm thinking to myself, man, why couldn't they have just made Monopoly instead of just doing a bunch of dumbass roundabout rules? People are playing it because they think it's actually going to be Monopoly related, but it isn't. And actually, at the beginning of it, <laughs> you won me IRL, no. You'd probably beat me up. I have, like, Joker level of strength, which is none. I'm the Joker, baby. Me and my friends played Bang the Dice game, actually. Uh, which is always really fun. If you ever can play Bang the Dice game, that is a legitimately fun game, by the way. Get it, if you can. Because if you have friends and, you know, you guys hang out, play it, because it's no. fucking fantastic. Shut up, me. Play it because it's Shut the fantastic. fuck up, me. Shut up. Good. on me identity fraud identity fraud huh really you gonna go there you gonna go to identity fraud bro it's kind of messed up it's kind of fucked up bro it's a spooky game oh wait it's an actual game I didn't know you- I thought you were just talking about in real life. We're gonna 1v1 see who can, f uh, commit identity fraud. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna steal your identity. <laughs> I already hacked into your mainframe. <laughs> One more second. Oh no, he's dropping the cyber nuke. Oh god, he just dropped the cyber nuke, dude. We're blocked out. <laughs> File a divorce. Uh, <laughs> 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 One v one me and asking for alimony. Gun. I'm waiting. No. No. I don't want to get a divorce. Uh, fuck. I don't want to get a divorce. I'm not gonna be part of that sixty percent or fifty percent. Isn't it like sixty percent? No. Something like that. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Back to uh, talking about Legend of Bumbo real quick. It's an interesting game. They did a free update to it where they added more uh, bosses into the game. And uh, they also added, uh, they added new characters, too. You already have 42 divorces. This is a clicker game. It's a clicker game where you file a divorce, huh? Yeah, what a surprise. My favorite is you, um, your mom got into a car crash hobby. That's probably a, my favorite hobby. Or something like that. Let me, uh, let me actually look at the name. Because it has like a different name to it. Has like a weird name to it. 
Uh, let me see. Uh, I think it's in page two. Not getting updated. Is that what it's called? You know what they need to bring back? Is if the fucker who made Meep City is actually gonna bother working on it. It would be great if he actually worked on, um, uh, uh, Pairs to Pairs again. That was my favorite card game to play on Roblox. Did you know he actually made a mobile app version of it too? That you could play outside of Roblox. And then I guess they just killed it off because they felt like... I guess they didn't feel any need to play it. And won me in dead forever. That's very humorous, haha. <laughs> very funny. I like that joke, haha. <laughs> oh god. I could give you my top 10 favorite games on Roblox if we're talking about Roblox still. Because that's all you kitties like to talk about, I guess. Um, top 10. As much as I hate it, Ronopoly is pretty good. Um, Those Who Remain is a really fun one. Uh, Ace of Spades with a Z. And it's all one word really good uh room is also good too but I, it's not a favorite of mine because i don't play it um ooh, if you get if you want to try a game that's similar to escape from tarkov give um state of anarchy a try uh actually also dead zone the original dead zone is also basically close to escape from tarkov essentially uh Beast Swarm? No. H Horrific Housing is a good one. Lua Learning is shit. Uh, Mint Tycoon's fun if you like tycoon games. A classic tycoon game. That one's good. Uh, I don't know about Rogue Lineage at all yet. Fishing Simulator, maybe. You died? Yeah. We have, we have, let's see, Clone Tycoon 2 is also pretty decent, uh, Uno, Uno is a good one, uh, Cleaning Simulator is a really good one, Muffin Combat, if he ever brought it back, was fun. Apocalypse Rising 2 is pretty good, too. Restaurant Tycoon. Good. By the way, if you see a game called Murder Mystery 3, avoid it. I'll be back, maybe. Okay. Welcome to Blacksburg is a fun one. Uh, why? Because it wasn't made by the original creator. It's just living- it's just playing off of the original creator's name. Uh, original game murder mystery 2 nicholas they're just literally ripping off the title and using it to try to get more people to play it because they can i guess do that so that's fucked it's fucked for them to do that you see what i'm what i'm hoping for is a murder mystery classic the original murder mystery that's what i want I don't want, um, Murder Mystery 2. Look in DMs. You haven't sent me a DM. Stalker is a well-made game. Uh, Framed is also really good, too. That's a classic. Tiny Tanks is alright. Um, Theme Park Tycoon 2, really good. Yeah, that's uh, to be expected, honestly. Seeing something like that, yeah, that's 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 gonna be expected. Uh, before the dub, I used to play that game all the time. The issue with it is that half the players don't even do the mission, which is you have to actually complete the objective. Um, the objective to win. Retail Tycoon's good. They're working on Retail Tycoon 2. Now, 
um, which is going to be a lot more open-ended with its tycoon. You know, just its whole gameplay or whatever going to go now. Okay. Bye. See ya. Nuke the whales is alright. Natural disaster survival might be back. Okay, so there's a 10% chance he'll be back. Natural disaster survival is good. Work at a pizza place is meh. I have my own issues with work at a pizza place. Main issue, I actually got to have a game where everybody was actually playing it properly. Uh, pairs the pairs, they're never- Alex Neutron's never gonna work on it again. Yeah, Alex, fuck you. You got Meep City. I hope I I really wish Meep City never became popular just so you'd actually make pairs the pair work properly. <laughs> Instead of not working on it. And instead working on your shallow game of dodgeball and shallow game of Meep City. <sighs> God. There's so many issues with these games, but uh Murder Mystery 2 is just so much just dog shit thrown into it. That is unnecessary. I just wanted a game like Murder Mystery 1, where it was just the original game had such a charm to it that I liked. I liked the really basic, dark-ass, like, waiting lobby room where you went to go vote, and that's all you could really do. I missed that. Urbis is also really good, too, if you ever want to try that. Shep Tycoon is a fun tycoon game. Uh, Gladiators has sadly died. Super Bomb Survival is one of my favorites. Um, yeah. As of late, I've been playing, I've been playing, uh, Ronopoly the most. Anytime I have a chance. I don't know. There's something about Ronopoly I like. Which is kind of a shame. Because, I don't know. I, it's not good. It's not perfect. But I find myself playing it more often than not, which is surprising. Also, I this month should be the month, um, by the end of this month, um, should be when the new DLC for Binding of Isaac Rebirth is coming out. It's going to be exciting. There's going to be a lot of stuff added into the game. Um, Binding of Isaac, uh, Repentance is the name of the DLC. Uh, I've been waiting on for it for a, a long time. Uh, and it's finally coming to a close. We're finally going to get it. Obviously, they're going to update it if there's any bugs, like a normal, actual, normal game. Because I think at this point in time, they're going to... The developers are kind of like... This is the last update for the game, probably. I'm not sure about that, but it's possible that this could be the last update to the game at all. So, that sucks. I've also been using Twitter a lot lately. Just kind of tweeting out random stuff that I think is funny. Why is It's a Girl trending on on uh, United States? Who's Philip Lewis? Oh, it's just some bullshit. Okay, never mind. It's just some dumb celebrity news that I no one should care about, but we do. Do not bid if you are horny. This is art, not smut. Give it 24 hours and re reassess horny level. Why did he tweet that out? Why did items tweet that out? I don't. I, maybe there's like some stuff going on. I, I don't. I don't know, man. Some weird stuff is happening on Twitter. Some. Odd things are happening on Twitter. Uh, I've been I've been debating on if I should watch WandaVision. Apparently, that's really good. 
Apparently it's it's actually really good, and I don't know anything about Wanton Division. So I don't even know if I'd like it or not. Let me actually see what is Wanda Wanda Vision. What the fuck is Wanda Vision? What well, is Wanda Vision? Living idealized sovereign lives, super powered beings, Wanda and Vision being to subject that everything is not as normal. What? Is WandaVision literally just a show about... You know what would make an interesting show? If this is what that is. If it's not in it. And this is just... It would be interesting to put superheroes in a sitcom scenario. That would be weird. <laughs> superheroes living in a superhero world. Where everything is fine. They go to the real world. They have to be normal. That would be pretty silly. That would be something the 90s would like. Or maybe even the 60s. Something like that. I, I think that would be popular in one of those eras. Nowadays, I don't think anyone actually would like that. They'd probably feel like it's a little too... It's, it's like it's too much like Seinfeld. Everything has to be like Seinfeld if it's a sitcom, apparently. Even though they didn't even invent the genre whatsoever. They were just the norm for that time period. Which is weird. What am I doing? I haven't checked my schedule for the stream. I should check that, actually. Let's see. What's going on on the stream? On the schedule stream? Uh, let's see. So, apparently... I guess... Oh yeah, Monday. I'm not doing anything. Okay. Yeah, Monday I have some school stuff I have to do. So that's why I'm not doing anything on Monday. Um, until that gets kind of freed up a little bit. That's why I put there's no, like, arranged schedule on that. That's why I have that there. So I don't have anything, any plans on it, but it's still possible for there to be something on Monday. So there's no guarantee, uh, basically, is why I put that like that. <sighs> Man. There's just... Uh, there's just some weird stuff going on lately. I don't know. Yesterday we went to the mall and it was so busy and it's just so weird to see the mall have a normal amount of people in it like it was it was kind of like wow I don't know if there's like something about like something being opened up more maybe the place is being opened up more but something's happening with that so it's just I don't know I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? But I hope that this whole thing is coming to a close because there's a lot of things I'd like to do in the future, you know? But, you know, everything has to be limit uh, limited, you know? There has to be limitations on everything, which is just a little annoying. What I need to do is... Um, Learn more about fishing. That's what I gotta do. I don't know. I like fishing. So. <laughs> I need to learn more about it. Like, as much as I can. There's been a um, YouTube channel I've been watching a lot lately. Called, uh, The Fisher. <laughs> I, I don't... I don't know why. But I find myself watching his videos. <laughs> Even though it's just him pulling up, like, junk from the rivers. That he goes to. And he goes mag he magnet fishes. I don't think he does actual normal fishing. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's just. He just does magnet fishing. So he, he's been fishing up some interesting things. And um. He, the one I watched. I like. I like how clickbaity the videos are. I don't even care. Because I get it. I get why he does it. But man. I just like some of them found a, a an actual jackpot or something money 
um, money found inside, and it was a fucking quarter. <laughs> Let me actually see the full name of it. It's an inter it's an interesting video, I guess. I mean, like, craziest magnet fishing jackpot ever. I found a stolen safe with money in it. It was just a quarter. <laughs> It was an old busted up, like, safe that he found. <laughs> there was, like, not much in it. I think it was definitely a really interesting when he found a duffel bag with drilling equipment in it. I think that was the most interesting thing. Um, so far. Other than, like, the- I think the car keys was also interesting, too. Uh, he found uh, some car keys to some car. I think it was maybe a Honda, but who knows. It- but imagine how annoying that would be losing your keys in the river or like in like the water or like the lake or whatever and you don't have anything to get it back so you just lose your car keys in the ocean that would suck that that was probably a really bad day for someone my god i would i would not want to have to do that And then, let's see. Is there anything new Nintendo came out with lately? Let me see. Is there anything new Nintendo came out with? What's going on with Nintendo? Let's see here. Switch Pro. Cool. So, people are talking about the Nintendo Switch Pro, which is something I've never heard of before. But apparently people were just talking about a Nintendo Switch Pro and why they want it to be a thing. Okay, so there is actually going to be a Nintendo Switch Pro. Okay, let me look it up real quick. Is this actually going to be- is this actually a thing? A legitimate thing? Hmm. There's leaks about it. That's a picture of something that kind of looks like a... That's... Huh. What would those buttons even do? So the picture I'm looking at has like... On the controllers, they're a lot longer because the screen's bigger. And... The buttons are like... Down and further apart. They look like... They look way too long in this picture. I don't like it. I don't like the design of it. I'm fine with how the Switch looks now. I don't have a problem with it at all. So I don't see any point in changing that at all. If I'm being honest. That's just me. What else? Oh, actually this looks pretty cool though. This picture. But that just looks that just looks like a PlayStation Vita. <laughs> it just looks like a PlayStation Vita. I I don't really want to pull up any kind of pictures because that's a pain in the ass. But yeah, there's this really cool video if you haven't seen it of a someone making GameCube controllers as Joy Cons, and I thought to myself that's a really cool idea. I'm surprised they have not done that yet, considering the um, GameCube controller is one of the best. What a lot of people like to say is the best controller ever made. One of the best. Even though the joyce the right analog stick is kind of shitty. Kind of. I mean, like, you, get, you don't really, you can't really do much with that, can you? It's way too sensitive to be, you know, used properly. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's fine. Maybe people would like that kind of thing. And it had the little ridged edges, so you only had, like, certain movements you could do on the controller properly because it had the little bump parts on them. I don't know. That seemed kind of annoying. I've been wanting to do a lot of things. Um, so, like I said, the one thing I wanted to do, which was doing a modded, like, playthrough of 1.12.2. Just kind of playing through on a modded version of Minecraft. 
so I've been kind of looking into making an, a mod pack, right? That's what I wanted to do. I want to make like a mod pack, and I'm thinking to myself, yeah, maybe I could do this. I don't know. Maybe I can't. I don't know. Because there's a lot of things that you got to do. Like a lot of tweaking, a lot of just a bunch of just, yeah, just tweaking, configuring, and testing that I'd have to do, and it takes a long time. And on top of that, I started another project right after that project, and now I want to do that project more than that project. So I've been putting off modding Minecraft for a while, or for a bit now, because I want to do this other thing that I want to do for the sake of just doing it. That's just me, at least. Uh, I don't know. There's so many people. Uh, I don't... My, my issue with... I want to talk about... YouTubers. And just fucking how entitled YouTubers can be sometimes. Like, my god. They always have to share their fucking opinion on shit. Whether or not it's on a reason behind people constantly harassing them for it. You know what I'd say is if they're harassing you and you don't want to have to do it, then don't do it. Don't say anything. Don't make a video about it. You don't have to share your opinion on it at all. But the fact that you do is more of the, of the fact that you know that people are going to watch it due to interest. And it just frustrates me because people are just using specific like events that are happening to let people know what they think about it because people want to hear what those people have to say about it and we've it's now a whole system of just people being entitled to like a bunch of bullshit and having to talk about something that they don't have to talk about but they do like uh some people, they like, one of the most annoying things I see on YouTube all the time is drama stuff. Like, things related to drama and people talking about, like, people who do a bunch of stupid stuff. So, like, you have trial predators on YouTube. I, it's good that you're spreading awareness. I think that's very important. The reason why people do it, or at least people use the excuse of why they, they make the videos, is that it's to spread awareness of the situation and that does often help the issue is that they'll end up saying something in the video like don't witch hunt these people but you're making a video about said person and that said person is doing terrible things so it's just useless it's a useless thing to mention because you know people are gonna do it anyways you're, get, you're showing it to an audience of a bunch of people, a potential amount of people who are going to be watching your video. So why are you sharing your opinion and telling them to not wish hunt them? Or not even your opinion, just showing the facts, showing all that stuff, and then saying don't wish hunt them. There, There's like... There's like some people who are just like, oh, these people don't deserve uh, apologies, or pe these people don't deserve any kind of just sympathy or anything like that and I'm I'm like yes I agree I don't think anybody was disagreeing with you but I don't think half the people out there who are agree or who are liking these people who are doing terrible things are actually gonna go out of their way to watch a video who are is literally just literally tearing their person that they like to shreds say is showing all this evidence and things like that and all these things and then telling them to not defend them all that kind of crap i'm just thinking maybe i don't know it's just annoying it's annoying seeing those in my recommendations all the time and then me sitting here complaining about it is just adding to the pointlessness of it but i get i get it I just don't feel like I don't know if those if the people who make those videos are doing it for the sake of actually helping or trying to spread awareness. I'm not sure because you you see these people also have advertisements on these videos as well. So not only are they making money off of the drama, they're they're it makes it so it makes it so it doesn't feel as genuine to me. And that's just, that's just my, I guess, opinion, my useless opinion on opinions of people who are bad, 
I guess, and they want to share their opinion on said person or situation. And I get it. I mean, like, I, I've watched them many times. But, man, I'm just tired. I just want... I just want something new. Now, let's watch reviews of people watching something that I've already watched. And I want to hear what they have to say about it. It's, uh, review channels. Man, I love this game. I sure want to watch a review of someone who also may or may not like this game, and I want to see if they like the game as well, so then I can get validation for liking said game. Yeah. <clears throat> oh god. I just gagged in my mouth. I want to talk- okay. Let's talk about Taco Bell. I am fa fucking angry. I'm angry at Taco Bell. And the reason why is that they keep removing items off their menu. They keep removing items that are good. People like those items. Keep them on the fucking menu. Just because no one else wants to buy your bullshit and you're doing it because you're losing money. And because people aren't buying your normal stuff that isn't really that good. Just keep the good stuff then. You don't have to have the other stuff. I don't see people going to Taco Bell to have specifically their burrito when they could just make a burrito for cheaper. It's like, what the fuck? Why? Look at me being a hypocrite. You know what? I don't care. I'm gonna be a hypocrite about it. I just wanted to complain about fucking complain, complain, complain. That's all you ever do, Dalton. Well, if others can do it, then I can. The so they're getting they're getting rid of the nacho fries. Now, I like the nacho fries. I'm a big fan of the nacho fries. I also like the quesarito, but they got rid of the fucking the original, which was the grilled cheese burrito, which is really good. I like their grilled cheese burrito. But the fact they got rid of the, the grilled cheese burrito sucked ass. At least they have the quesarito, which is just pretty much almost the same thing. Um, now they're getting rid of my nacho fries. And I'm thinking to myself, well, great. What else am I going to get there? Because a lot of their items are kind of boring. <laughs> they're all samey to me. That's the issue with Taco Bell, is that most of their menu is samey, or not really that good. It's, it's a shame. Taco Bell, step up your game, come on. Also, G Fuel. Why did G Fuel think that Moon Pies were a good flavor? G what is their recent flavor that they're doing right now? What's their most recent flavor they're doing? Ah, yes. They have a new Pewds flavor, apparently, called Floor Gang. Was the, was the original um, PewDiePie flavor not good? Because I thought it was it was good. But apparently, I guess it's not. Let me actually see here. Tubs. Let's see. G Fuel. Yeah, you have the Tubs. Floor Gang. Floor Gang. I like the original, though. I like the PewDiePie flavor. Um, the Lincolnberry one. That's a good one. Please tell me you didn't remove it. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't remove the Lincolnberry. Did, did they remove the Lincolnberry? Wait. Wait, hold on. Okay, so it's just a re- Okay, thank god. Oh. It's just a reskin of the of the lingonberry flavor. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. For a second I thought they just straight up removed the lingonberry. They put reskin right there. I don't know why I didn't see that. Thank God. Okay. We're good. We're good. It's funny though. It's funny how you have all these different flavors now of, of G Fuel and the limited edition ones now are just kind of like you see a uh, Mudahar, uh, some ordinary gamers. 
He just has like a line of like the limited edition ones they've done just behind him in the videos now. He just has like a whole like bar of them. And you see people doing similar things with um, monster cans. You see people making fake guns out of them like they were... Um, I remember when I was in middle school, everybody in my class was making fake paper guns. Uh, some of them were making like rubber band paper gun kind of deals and I remember oh man that's so much fun I'm gonna make a fake paper gun as well so everybody was making during free time we were all making like pa paper fake guns uh, I remember a kid was showing off his coloring book of Spongebob characters and it was literally uh I remember he was trying to tell everyone that he drew a picture of Spongebob when I'm just like, no you didn't, you fucker, you traced it. I, I knew it was just, he just traced it, but uh, I guess he, he just lied and said he didn't. I think I said it, I don't know if I, if I was like, I just straight up was just like, yeah, hey, you, you just literally just traced this. You didn't actually draw this. You're like, you're like five years old. I'm pretty sure you can't draw Spongebob as perfectly as this. Kids don't have the mental capacity to, to draw straight. It was like a literal perfect recreation of it. It was just him fucking, like, just draw. You know, like, whenever you hold, like, a piece of paper over, like, the like the picture of it, he just, like, put that over it, then just traced around it to make it. Like, dude, you're not fooling me. But if everyone else was a dumbass, I guess, and actually believed him. I don't know. I was really quiet, so I didn't really talk a lot in class. At least at that school for a long time. Until I moved. I remember I um I got a, a marshmallow gun. Uh, I got a marsh. I, I mean I'm also a dumbass too. I think because this this will explain it. So I I, I got a marshmallow gun from a fair, from some uh, like city fair, uh, or something. And I, uh... <clears throat> so what happened was I was like, oh, I'm gonna show this off in, in show and tell, I guess. I think that's what my thought process was. So I brought it to school, and then I pulled it out. And then the teacher immediately confiscated it, took it away from me, and said, no, you can't bring this to class. This is a weapon or some bullshit. I'm just like, what? And then I never got it back. I had it for a day. I had the marshmallow gun that my I begged my mom to buy me for a day before they got rid of it. And that, that was the last time, you know, I saw it. And, man, I think I had to tell my mom or something. I don't remember. I think I told my mom. Actually, I don't, think, I don't even think I told her. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, that that was the end of that story. I it was like there was um another toy I had that I used to play on a lot, and I still ha I actually have it over in my drawer in my closet. It's a uh, twenty questions, one of those old twenty question toys. They kind of they were rounded. They had, it just said 20 questions on it, and then there was, like, some buttons to answer yes, no, maybe, and whatnot. It, it, basically, its goal was to try to guess what you were thinking of. And I remember, uh, I loved playing that on the way to my, uh, my aunt's. On my way to her house. I was like, oh, yeah, this is great. I love this. I, I loved, I loved that toy. Um... And also, my grand, my aunt had a Game Boy Color that I used to play sometimes. And uh, my grandma, she had a uh... what? What is this? You, Bobby Boy Boysenberry. Okay, so it's raspberry and blackberry. Interesting. It actually doesn't sound too bad. Anyways. So. <laughs> uh, my grandma always had like little pieces of like a notebook. 
like little notepad kind of things, the flip notepad things that you see detectives have. Um, she had a bunch of those and pencils and crayons, I think, or markers in the back. What sucked about the pencils is that the erasers were in the back, so they dry out and stop working properly. Um, and what I used to do is I would try to do like little animations in the notebooks. So I'd always draw someone, like, <laughs> I always drew someone, and then they would always like get crippled themselves somehow, and then mutate into a monster, screaming help me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what I did as a kid. I don't know why. I think I drew normal things too. Uh, I remember a lot of stuff that I drew was inspired by the Diary of the Wimpy Kid books. Because I used to read those, all, read those all the time. So there's this one moment I think in the book where you had the little stick figures, and uh, he drew like all over his paper, just like a, a stick figures having a war or like a battle. So I'm like, oh, that's so cool. So I did the same thing. So I would draw like stick figures battling each other on a sheet of paper, and it was like all crazy and stuff, and they were all down shooting each other. Blah, blah. It was really, it was really fun and creative. And then I made, um, books. I made little books that I, I made with, uh, my friend. You're hungry? Order me McDonald's. Ah, uh, man. I should, I should order so, a shamrock shake from McDonald's. But then I'd have to charge, I'd have to pay, like, a small order fee. You know what? Let's do it. I'll order a shamrock shake. I'll, I'll give you a review of a shamrock shake, and on top of that, I'll order a sweet tea. I'll do it right now. I'm doing it. Let me go to my thing here. McDonald's. So what do you want from McDonald's? <laughs> what do you want from McDonald's? Let's see. What we got? What we got? What we got? We're not unsweetened. Fuck that. I want to get sweet tea, bitch. A large sweet tea. Actually, at 8 o'clock at night, do I want to? I could probably drink it tomorrow. Actually, I don't even- I, I get to sleep in tomorrow. Never mind. Yeah, fuck it. I get to sleep in tomorrow. And I'll try their, um... Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. Shamrock Shake. Let's try a Shamrock Shake. Uh, I'm just gonna get a medium. A medium Shamrock Shake. Because I don't know if it's good or bad. I'm gonna be every white girl. Uh, let's see here. Actually, what is a Shamrock Shake anyways? What is a sam Shamrock Shake? Do I order a basket of fries, too, while I'm at it? <laughs> you know what? Let's order a basket of fries, too. Why not? You know? Fuck it. Then again, that's actually kind of expensive. Should I do a basket of fries? I like bat. I like fries. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Okay. Piku Pico School. That's the school shooter game, right? From uh from Newgrounds. Yeah, I know I know about that one. I knew about the the sequel game where there's the girl where you play as the girl and she it's like you play mul there's multiple ways to kill yourself. Like she, she her she wants to kill herself, so she finds ways to do that. Yeah. I, I know that one. Of course. <laughs> of course. I mean, I played on Newgrounds for a long time. You remember the Hunger Games game that you could never actually win? Because literally the first thing that happens immediately at the start of the game is you got shot with an arrow and you died. That's it. Yeah. That one was, was literally just a troll game, as far as I know. 
It made you think you could play it, but you couldn't. <laughs> Which games were epic. You can still play them on Newgrounds. They have the Newgrounds um, Flash game converter thing. Uh, oh yeah, there was also the, the games where like you played as like the president and you like were in the White House shooting people in the pres in like the White House. I think it was George Bush or Obama. I think it was Obama or George Bush, either one. I think it was both. <laughs> you had like it like an AK forty seven. You were hiding behind cover. Yeah, Obama alien defense. Yeah, that's it. I remember now. You got that right. Someone's getting my basket of fries, my shamrock shake, and my large sweet tea right now. Yeah, the George Bush shootout. Yeah. Those are interesting games. Newground is very edgy, I guess. I, I would like to think that they're edgy. It's hard for me to really distinguish the difference between edgy people and racist people now. Or based, I mean. Sorry, not racist, based. Quote unquote. <laughs> based people. <laughs> um. Their quartz guitars. Yeah? Yeah, you like you like the drama that happened on the server? It's a shame. Oh man. I um I don't know. Servers are so fucked. Like if you don't do anything about anything, then it's just gonna get worse and worse over time. You just gotta I guess not have a shitty server to begin with. You see, I think the problem with servers and Discord servers is that people have... They, if they don't have the... If they don't have the illusion of freedom then they people have a tendency to want to lash out and to cause issues. You see it all the time with um with like servers and stuff like that where they know that they have all these rules and stuff. So less so more people want to lash out about it because they want to go against it naturally. So if you have the thing is, is that you have to have an illusion of freedom. Quartz guitars. Um, it's just gonna, it's just, it'll be fine. Quartz is, is gonna keep making, like, trendy videos for, till the end of time. Because that's what gets their channel growing. Uh, trendy shit posts. Um... So it's just it's just gonna keep going. It's just that the the moderators are gonna need to actually do their job if they want to keep it from being getting so toxic as it is now, because they need to they need to really start cutting down the toxicity. Because servers can thrive just as fine. It's just that a bunch of fuckers who actually use Discord are a bunch of quote unquote based people who are a bunch of assholes and fucking toxic motherfuckers who just want to uh, witch hunt and lynch people who are not them. It's a bunch of people like to flock together. Memes kind of get boring. They do. Um, they get boring after the 50th time you see the same fucking thing. They're not funny. It's just people are being stupid. It's just, it's just, you're not, be it's just a way of fitting in, in some aspects. And some people actually believe in that stuff. The reason why, um, Gypsy Crusader became such a meme is because, is because he, he legitimately believed in that kind of stuff, by the way. He be he believed, he genuinely believed in, um, in radicalism. He, he was, he became radicalized. I feel bad for him, but again, that's our fault. That's completely our fault for, for causing him to radicalize. Completely our fault. Because we, we, not, I'm not saying we, but I'm saying just people out there really, really witch hunt people. And that's the issue, is that people just want to get each other's throats so much. And it just pisses me off. So the best thing 
it's probably the best thing that could happen to the server is getting rid of a person who allows these kind of people to stick together and to form into this big piece of cancer in the server. So honestly, it's a good thing. I just hope that it's gonna not completely it'll it'll affect the server because all the people are gonna fuck off all the all the not like nazi likers and alt-right jokes well alt-right memes are gonna be on there all the time but all those fuckers are gonna fuck off probably and then it's gonna be normal people probably hopefully and it'll hopefully tone down and you're gonna get people to come in and hopefully hopefully it's gonna be less toxic and it'll get better Because the downfall of a server is how toxic it gets. If it gets toxic, it's going to get worse. That's the issue. The downfall is really dependent. Because if you have too many rules. I've been on a server where too many rules, way too many people dislike it, they leave. And also, people's past. Like the owner, the server owner had like a shitty past and whatnot. Those people flocked to a different area. Those people also then flocked to a different area. I was in a server that I joined, met people, went to another server that hated said server. And that said server hated the owner of that said server that hated that server. And we moved to a completely different server, which now hates that server and that owner. That's how, that's how shit it gets to. So, it slowly whittles down. So, I, I just hope that this can be prevented with this server. I, I think it's redeemable. It's just that the fucking admins and mods need to chill to, like, actually do their fucking job. And not have a bunch of assholes who don't even actually do their job. Who are constantly, like, who are uh, active on the server, not be moderator. Even if they're like, it's just, it's just so fucking annoying. I'm tired of seeing servers like, like that, like YouTube servers, just fucking get, or Instagram servers, whatever, just get gutted because of just drama. It's so bad. It, that's how bad servers can get. Like, Discord servers are just caked with just issues. If they have any, like, if they start forming a little community of themselves. That community can get real bad real quick. Can get real sour. It, it, it can be like a, 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 a like a, a tube of mayo that you left in the fridge for over a year. A tub, not a tube. I'm sorry, a tub. So it can get bad if it's not dealt with. So there needs to be regulations. Not that much rules that are, or at least strict rules don't have strict rules it's good to be lenient with your moderation but don't be too lenient what do you think of quartz mods like some random idiot some random idiot didn't like me in the server he never liked me he was an asshole to me because i because i i went ooh woo I said, because I know it pisses people off. It, that's the, that's, a, that's the why, that's how toxic it, it, it is on the server, is the fact that you can say stupid shit, you can do random stupid shit, people will take it seriously, and then toxicity, like, ensues. I, I, I did a, I saw a post of someone posting a tier list of animatronics, so I did a stream video, a short stream, like 15 minute stream video of me doing it. An animatronic tier list one of the people in the server posted a picture of me streaming that in the title and then someone says now I see why people hate Dalton and I'm just thinking to myself what the fuck did I do <laughs> I'm sorry that you can't connect the fucking dots because no one apparently has common sense Like, Jesus, dude. Like, everyone's so fucking jaded in the server. And if if that means that if Random Idiot not being in the server and or just not being mod in general 
and that means that all those fuckers go away. That's a good thing for me. And I don't care if the server dies at that point, because at least they're gone. And that just tells you something about how badly they let the server go downhill, because they weren't moderating it properly. That's the problem with Discord servers, man. Owners have some, like, really stupid shit going on behind the scenes. And that's why you get all these memes with, like, grooming and shit. You know? It's so goddamn annoying. You can't even joke about stuff anymore because everyone's so snowflakey about everything as well. And like I said... Jokes can be funny, like, right? Edgy jokes can be funny. It's just that, same with the Among Us memes, it can get unfunny very quickly. I have a, a, a low tolerance for memes and be, it being used. Same with jokes. Overused jokes become unfunny. How many times do you hear knock knock who's there jokes? Boo hoo. It's not funny after a while. Come up with something original instead of doing the same thing over and over again because you can't think of anything else. Right? That's probably... And that's why you, you, so many people are just like... Like, people who aren't funny are now just sticking to what's the norm in terms of being funny. And everybody just agrees. Oh yes, if I just say about this specific thing, therefore am funny. Right? Let's talk about Donald Trump. Haha, uh -huh. me talk show host joke about Donald Trump. Aha, uh -huh. am funny. It's not funny after the 50th time. Learn to curb your jokes. Because you're, it's gonna get unfunny after a while. And people are gonna get bored. Actually, no, apparently not. Apparently people don't get bored of those. Because it keeps fucking happening. You keep seeing the jokes. I've actually done an Among Us joke making fun of Among Us jokes because of how stupid they are. I saw a fire alarm at the mall yesterday, and, I, and then I jokingly went, Ooh, it's Among Us, Ooh, get away, Ooh. like I was scared of it. <laughs> Hiding behind my friends, going, Ooh, Ooh, it's Among Us, dude, it's imposter. See, I'm not saying that all Among Us jokes are unfunny. It just, it depends on how you do it. Because if you can do it cleverly, it can be funny. Really funny joke. <laughs> really funny one that I thought was funny. Was, um, there's this guy who just went, Hello, is this Among Us? Is this the imposter from Among Us? And then you just hear the, vo the robotic voice going, Yes, this is the imposter. This, or this is Among Us. This is the imposter. And then just cuts off. My The reason why I find that funny is whenever it gets cut off at the very end. I don't know why, but that makes me chuckle. Wait. Dasher is nearby. Patrick M. Patrick M has gotten my food, and they're dropping it off at my house. Okay. I might have to go grab it. I just realized, I don't have a, a BRB thing on here. Hold on. There we go. We gotta put a BRB thing somewhere. There we go. And then... No. Okay, I'm just gonna have to manually turn it off, which is fine, because this is just a just chatting kind of thing. Okay, I will be right back. I'm gonna go grab, um, my the food, I guess, and then do what I need to do.
Okay, my uh, my food's here. I uh, I think I'm gonna grab some ketchup. I like eating. I like eating my fries with ketchup. Holy shit! Hold on. I think he think. Okay, no, they don't. Okay, they don't. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I need to get. Yeah, I need to get ketchup. Okay, I'm gonna go get ketchup. Let me try the fries real quick, hold on. Yeah. Eh. Eh. They're not really salty. They don't have a lot of, they don't really have salt on them. Yeah. They don't have salt. What the fuck? Okay, I'm back. Alright, let's do a review, I guess. I'm gonna turn that off real quick. So, um, yeah, here, Aiden Nibbles. Art thou here? <laughs> I got this, um, thing called. Wall sauce? I don't know what it is. It's called wall sauce. And I use it on my stuff. I'm gonna use it on my fries. Cuz wall sauce. It's a weird name. But basically it's just like a kinda like a like a essentially fry. Like it's basically just like mayo ketchup. Hmm. A little spice on it. It's really good. What's actually in here? Ketchup, yeah. Corn syrup, yeah. Vinegar, salt, yeah. Dehydrated onion, yeah. It's good. I'm gonna put it on my fries. Or I did, but yeah. And then I got a shamrock shake. Also, shut up. Er, well, Aiden and Nibbles. Aiden and Nibbles. I don't. I don't know how you found like my full name, but please refrain from saying it in chat. I would like I would like to keep that private, uh, my full name, just so it's I, even though <clears throat> can't really do much with it. It's just I don't want people doxing me. You don't know my full name? The G thing. The what? <laughs> That's the thing. You don't know my full name? Okay. Well, do you know my first- do you know my last name? Wait, I know who that was. Never mind. Wrong person. I'm sorry. I, I was getting you confused for a said boy. I don't even know my name. Okay. I, I was getting confused for a said boy. Hey. What's good? Welcome to the aisle, my friend. Welcome to the island, my friend. So, I want to say this right now. These, uh, I think, I think they just gave me a vanilla, I think they just gave me a vanilla shake. They didn't even make me a shamrock shake. 
<laughs> it didn't even make me an actual fucking shake. A shamrock shake that I ordered. It's just- <laughs> It just gave me a- Oh my god. Wow. Okay. McDonald's. You fuckers. I'm gonna dip my fries in it. Let's see. I just got whipped cream. Okay. Yeah, that's just a vanilla shake. <laughs> they didn't even try. Wow, that's that sucks. I was I was so excited to try the shamrock shake. I guess this is the shamrock shake. If it is, then I literally cannot tell. I want to complain about something else now. <laughs> um, you know, there's these type of people I hate the most, and it's when you're arguing with them. These people, what they do, is it me? I don't know. Um, so, basically, what they are is the type of people who talk over you when you guys are having an argument. They don't let you talk. They don't let you ex explain yourself. And what makes me angry about it is that I'm trying to get out what I'm trying to say. It's already hard for me to think clearly on what I'm trying to say to get my point across. Uh, enough. So having them talk over me makes it impossible for me to think about what I'm trying to say. And I hate those people who do that. Well, I don't hate them. I hate them. I'm saying I don't like their tactic in arguments. There's a, there's a video I remember watching. I should take this advice as well. Is that to win an argument is to never have the argument at all. Which is literally just dismiss it. That's probably the best way to win an argument. I agree. You know, this wall sauce is good though. Also, this shake is shitty. I'm not a big fan of vanilla shakes. Although, that is pretty good, though. It's pretty good. Fuck, why is that good? Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. I'm becoming a hypocrite. It's okay. I'm more of a chocolate person, though, than a vanilla. I don't know. Vanilla to me seems more like I'm just drinking honey. Whenever anything's vanilla related, you just put honey in it. Even though they're different, I, I don't know. Flavor-wise, they kind of taste a little similar to me. Yo. Aiden Nibbles. Are you happy I got my food for you? For me? Yeah? That's good. Yeah, no problem. Here, I'll, I'll shove it into the microphone. You got that? <laughs> got that? You bitch? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, how are you today, Aki, by the way? How art thou? How art thou? You can barely hear anything? You can't hear me? Or you, you just have bad hearing in general? It's low. The microphone? I've never had an, in, any issue with audio. No one has ever given me a complaint about the audio issue. Is the audio bad for you, Aiden?
Let me see. Sounds good now for some reason. You're a bit quiet. Am I? Sometimes? Uh-oh, hold on. Maybe that'll fix it. I don't know. I have, like, no one here 90% of the time. So it's hard for me to tell if I need to turn myself up. Which I'll, I'll do. I'll turn the volumes up now. I don't want the... I don't want the music to be loud, though. So I'll keep that a little bit quiet. Is this better? I could also turn the gain up as well. Um, if I have to. Actually, where is the... Yeah, the gain's also... Okay, it's better? Okay, okay. Yes, thank you. I don't want it to be kind of poopy. I don't want audio to be bad. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good. Yes, very good. I've been really enjoying um, Shinmu. Uh, I've I've had a lot of fun with the game. <laughs> I I really love the dialogue of it's so legendarily bad. Uh, that it's just it's just so fucking funny. I I love it. I lo I love Shinmu. I like to call him Shinmu, <laughs> even though his name's Ryo. <laughs> I just find it funny to consistently call him Shinmu, and his um. His care caretaker, Inosan, I like to call her mom, mom. I, even though she's not his mom. I don't know, I just find that really funny. To con constantly just not call them by who they are. But um, story-wise, it's also pretty decent. I will say that this is the first time, last stream was the first time I've had to... Uh, pull up a walkthrough to try to figure out what to do because the game wasn't entirely clear on what I needed to do which it still kind of isn't at times but I mean in real life right because the game's just trying to be realistic at times in real life you wouldn't be able to solve everything immediately there is one thing that I ran into an issue during one of the that stream though is that I realized something is that I walked towards a so at the warehouse we go to warehouse number eight and they're like you can't enter okay look around I walk around back and I go an entire loop around to, can't find anything so then later on I look up a walkthrough on what I need to do oh you need to walk over and you have to push this orange box. I go and push the or try to push the orange box. It doesn't work. I walk over, and now all of a sudden the cutscene activates, and now I can push the box. And I'm thinking to myself, that I literally walked past there. Why didn't the cutscene activate then? So I don't know if I had to wait till it was nighttime. I don't know what happened. Suddenly it just worked. So sometimes things like that is just kind of unclear. But, given all that, it's still pretty good. <laughs> better better streaming game than Yakuza 0, so far. I don't know. I feel like Yakuza, to me, has turned out to be a game that I should just play on my own. Because there's just so much exposition into the game that it's just not fun to watch. Like, I don't think people want to watch the stream to watch a, a visual novel. An interactive visual novel. Because that's what it is to me. Um, Yakuza 0. It's just, it's just a visual novel. It's, it's so sad. I'm sure it's a good game, like, story-wise, but... It's hard to actually pay attention to it when you're trying to have an entertaining stream to begin with. Like Dusk or H Rot. H Rot. Oh, wait. What's a H Rot is. What is H Rot? <laughs> and Dusk? Dusk. 
No, the game. The game. The ga game. Game. Dusk. The f it's a 2018 retro styled first person shooter. Huh. This is 1990s, huh? <laughs> Even though it isn't 1990s. Um. What is this game? It's just a. It's just a. Quake related game? And what the heck is Hrod? Hrod. Game. There's like no information on it. These are both like Russian related. <laughs> it's a Slavic dusk, yeah. They're both like <laughs> kind of Russian ish. Okay. I mean, Slavic is always good. Twenty dollars. What the fuck? It seems like <laughs> it seems like a really niche game, huh? <laughs> Suggestions are very niche related, I guess. I could maybe. Um, but I, I don't know if I'd like it. I don't know. Cult shit and spooks. I like spooks. Then again, Dusk here actually has a lot more overwhelmingly positive too. Just good. You know, you remember, um, the PS1 demo disc, um, horror game? That a uh, group of people made. This kind of reminds me of that. Was this on there? Was Dusk on there? Because I think I remember hearing. I think I remember hearing this game on there. If this, if Dusk was on PS1 demo disc, have you ever heard of the PS1? Um, here, let me see here. It's called um. It was called the Dread X Collection. I guess. Wait, was it? Haunt. Wait. Haunted. Haunted PS1 demo disc for 2020. Yeah, it was called Haunted. The Haunted PS1 demo disc, I think. Yeah. And this, this had, uh, a bunch of, like, horror PS1-ish games. Um, and they had a second one, too. But the first one I remember seeing, too. I, I, I remember watching, uh, Vinny, Vine Sauce, uh, play through it. And I thought it was really interesting. Because they were, like, all, like, demo games slash kind of, like, weird little games as well. I love the Haunted Demo Disc series, though. It's good. But I guess it wasn't on here. I guess I was wrong. But it looks like it would have been on there. Sounds like, um, this music sounds funny. <laughs> sounds like Super Monkey Ball. I'll look into, um, I will look into, um, I'll put them on my wish list. Dusk and Hrot. I'll put those on my wish list. Um, and I'll look into them because 
Those are actual suggestions that I may or may not do. Who knows? Because it is $20. And that's an investment that I'm specifically doing for the stream. And if it doesn't end up in um, paying off, then that's gonna suck. Because you gotta remember, on my end, I have to play something that people are gonna watch. And people know. Right? There's so many games on here I wish I could play. I wanna play, um... I wanna play Putt-Putt Enters the Race at some point on stream. I love Putt-Putt. Um, humongous games are always fun. Uh, let me see here. I remember... S modding Sims 3... Or, S I think it was Sims 4. Modding Sims 4 was legitimately one of the most terrifying, sketchiest things ever. Um, trying to mod that thing. I legit didn't know if I was installing viruses when I was trying to mod Sims 4. Terrifying. Um, once Astronauts actually ends up- Dusk isn't on the- yeah. D um, Dusk is not on there. I- I- for some reason I felt like it was, even though it wasn't. I was like, it's poss- it could possibly be on there. Um, GTFO I hear isn't really that good. Some people like it, but it has terminal stuff in there, which is pretty interesting. I think that's probably the most interesting thing on there. It's the fact that it has a Linux, um, computer that you hack. <laughs> Essentially. Half Dead 2 is a fun multiplayer game that I want to play with my, f uh, friends, like a group of friends at some point. Uh... Civi 5 seems like something I'd have to play the first Civi game to actually understand how to play. Sanitarium, I really want to play Sanitarium. If you don't know what Sanitarium is, it is a point-and-click old-school adventure game. Um, that is really, it, it relies really heavily on its, um, on its graphics. And the fact, and also storytelling is also really good too, from what I hear. But, um, so... One of the first places you go to in Sanitarium is literally a, a town. There's only children there. And you find out that what happened is an alien crashed in the, in the town. And then basically harvested itself within the school. And all of the parents, everybody, all of the adults have been taken to that monster... And essentially, it was slowly growing and mutating, kind of like a blob. And basically, it killed all the parents. And what it's basically doing is trying to get the ch eat the children, essentially. It was trying to eat children, I think. Um, something like that. I, it's hard. I forgot entirely. But basically, it was like... It was so fucked. The, the graphics were really grotesque looking. And it's great. So I'm going to have to give that a try. If you like, um, it's like, uh, Fallout 1. Yeah, it's a point and click adventure. It came out in the 90s, early 90s, like the, uh, Fallout era. So, yeah. It's, um, it's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's cool. It's a cool game. I have to give it a try, though. That's the only thing I know about the game. The only other thing I do know Actually, I lied. There's one more thing I know. Is that your character has amnesia. That's it. That's all I know. Because there's an underground YouTuber that I used to watch called Jordan Underneath. He actually has a new channel called Jordan Goes to Sleep. And, um... There's a whole drama. There's actually legitimately a underground drama with Jordan underneath and that was his old channel right he uh huh so Jordan underneath did game reviews around the time Ketagrus needed stuff with him 
and some other YouTubers as well, but he did more scary stuff. He was kind of like, he was one of my favorite video game review channels, um, because he, he explored obscure, interesting games and stuff in the world, kind of like in, in media. So like he talked about why he loved his, um, Courage the Cowardly Dog was his favorite um, TV series of all time, and he showed the reasons why. He showed all these cool little things. He played it. He he talked. He reviewed I'm Scared, which was an interesting game. Obviously, everyone knows I'm Scared. He talked about the remake, Billy and Mandy, which is a really good show. Um, he talked about how he didn't like Monstrum, uh, nor uh, the Neverhood, which has really good, interesting music, by the way. Um. And he, he played. He talked about the Silent Hill series, which was a really important series in his life. Um, what else? Uh, one of my favorite videos of his. He talked about Sanitarium. I don't think he. I don't remember where it is. But at one point, he talked about Sanitarium, and he was talking about um, that specific level. And he was talking about that whole story and he says oh i'm gonna do a video on this one day he never ended up doing a video on it instead he went back to he went and he started making artistic stuff on his jordan go to sleep channel um which he uh he makes uh very artistic videos um he hasn't made a video in seven months apparently but he just kind of makes like weird different videos because he has um he has, uh, I guess you could say, a severe type of depression, I guess, and antisocial kind of stuff. So he kind of is on and off about things. He was, um, but one of the the underground drama with his channel was um, there was a fan channel that was made called Jordan Underneath Archive. That was a, an archive, a person who had a bunch of Jordan Underneath videos, and he archived them and he threw them up on YouTube. And then Jordan underneath was messaging him, asking him, hey, can you please remove these or something like that? And something, there was a whole drama with that. And eventually what happened was that Jordan underneath, or well, Jordan, he made a actual, like an official Jordan underneath archive channel. Even though he hates those videos, because he, he he's explained himself in the videos, or in one of the things, and that the fan channel was explaining to him was that the peep the person he was in those videos didn't reflect who he was at the time i guess it was more of just kind of just like another person another personality he kind of created similarly although he did talk about serious things he never really went into detail about real serious things that he went into and he also did not like how he, he did not like seeing himself he, he 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 does not like seeing himself in videos so he it would actually bring him to tears and it was really hard for him to make videos in that format so that's why oh so that's why he stopped making them entirely and it sucks because i get it ma'am i get why he wanted to stop making them but yeah he it, he explained it in he explained it in, what do you call it? He he explained in a in a, a live stream he did a long time ago. The reason why his camera was at a weird angle, someone asked in the chat, and he said because he doesn't like seeing himself. He doesn't like the camera pointing at his face. So he he it made it gave him really it made him really emotional when he made them. So that's why he stopped making. I guess those kind of things even though he even though like most of his review videos never really showed his face half the time he didn't need to do that it was another case of just he lost passion I guess for it maybe maybe he just lost passion for making reviews maybe he just didn't like hearing his voice either after a while he, um, he didn't like hearing himself and uh, he just stopped making them. And then he just, he, even though he really didn't want to make an archive channel, he decided, you know what, people miss my old videos. And as much as I hate seeing it, I'm going to do it for you guys. 
So he remade it, reposted a good amount of his videos. It's not all of them though, by the way. He he has full control over that channel, so there's some videos that are not put in there for the sake of just he didn't want it on there, or maybe there's a, something in there he really didn't want or like. So he, he, he can choose to not have it or whatever. Yo, hey. Josh, um, <clears throat> Josh, uh, again, I don't think you really know me. Josh and, um, Alec, can you guys chill the fuck out before you start going autistic on me? Thank you. I don't want, I don't want you guys just fucking around while I'm streaming, please. I would appreciate it. It's good to start early before it gets worse. Um, and, you know, making sure you guys don't be fucking stupid. Because I won't hesitate. <laughs> God damn it. Haxter, what? Why are you guys on here anyways? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? You popping in? Just say hi. I've got a basket of fries from McDonald's. Rain? He's here to chill? Yeah? You guys are just here to chill? You're all in a VC together. You're here to chill, huh? Nice sub. You don't even have a sub to me. You're not even subscribed. This is going downhill. Aki. <laughs> These are um, friends I know from another server as well. I have other friends outside of that server as well. Wow. Actually, uh, thank you, Alec, for the sub subscription. Thanks. You imbecile. Thank you for the sub. You have friends? Yeah, I know. Strange, right? It's odd. It's so weird. You know... I've been trying to do this now. I didn't want to mention this. But I've been just waiting for me to hit... Zero subs. So I can make a video. <laughs> it's not happening, I guess. Oh! Actually, Alec has resubscribed for seven months. Thank you, young D uh, Deeg, uh, sixty nine, for the seven month sub. Tier one. Thanks. Welcome to the harbor, by the way. This is just a random chatting thing that I'm doing. I'm trying out. Yeah. What games do you play? Um, right now, I'm just playing whatever. Um, I am playing through Shinmu, the first one right now. I think I'm doing that. I'm not doing that tomorrow. I'm not streaming tomorrow. Or I don't plan on because I have, um, midterms are this week. And then, um, I might play some other things as well. It really depends on what I'm feeling like because I have a bunch of games now. Um, so I like to play games that like maybe needs to be like I'm, I'm thinking of playing The Legend of Bumbo um, soon, um, maybe on stream because Legend of Bumbo is pretty decent of a game. Thoughts on um, DN? Who's DN? Is that a game? I don't know what DN is. These nuts? Who? Who? Joe? Really? Wait. Joe who? Obama. Joe Mama. 
Obama sphere. Yeah. Yo, is that the lolling pug? Uh, emote that you can get if you subscribe now. If you subscribe to uh, tier one, you can get the lolling pug emote. That's crazy. These fries suck. Not gonna lie. After you've had rally slash checkers fries or um the nacho fries from Taco Bell, you can't go back. International Women's Day? Is that today? Um put on makeup and um paint my nails. Never had Taco Bell? Eh. I'm picky about Taco Bell. Most of their items suck. But their quesarito and their nacho fries are really good. And their grilled cheese burrito, when they had it, were good. I was told their, po their potato items were also good, and I never got to try those. But they're coming back soon, uh, the, the potato items. So I'm going to have to try those, I guess. Potatoes are back and happy. People happy wide. Wait, right, exclamation point emote. There you go. Do I have people? I do have people happy. Oh, nice. Hey, Ben, my moderator. By the way, it's nice for you guys to be in here. What is it? Oh, that's it. That was, that was the songs. We were done. You played every RuneScape song. Okay, then I'll just play Nightfall, Shinmu Nightfall. Shinmu Nightfall. By the way, if you can, I definitely would recommend Shinmu. If you are patient. If you aren't patient, uh, patient. Then, um, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. <laughs> don't play it. Even though it is good. It is it is a pretty good story so far. Because, surprisingly, it's a puzzle game. Which is weird. I didn't think it would be a puzzle game. It's like a weird puzzle mystery game. Shinmu Poo Poo. How about you fuck off, uh, Haxer? Ah, uh, fuck you. With its flaws, it's still a good game. Especially for its time. Um, even the voice act- even if the voice acting is dog shit, it's still funny. It's- it's like the- the room level of- of bad voice acting. Um, no. I don't want to know. You think I should play Fishing Planet? I feel like Fishing Planet would be a good stream game. I feel like I think that would be a good game to play. Shinmu 1 and 2 are uh, good good. Okay, that's better. Even though I've never played 2 yet, I'm still playing through the games. Damn Daniel, do it. <laughs> I don't want to play it because I don't- there's like- You have to actually have like knowledge on all of the parts of a fishing rod. <laughs> and also you have to basically do actual research to learn the fish patterns. The fish AI is intelligent. It's probably not as good as the um, as the dog AI from Ghosts, but you know. Yeah. Is that the heart trans rights thing in there? Yeah. What is that? That's um fluid pride. Okay. Yeah. 
You guys are very, very interesting. Oh, man. Um, you guys have any questions for me that are actually normal questions? Instead of just meme questions? Because I would love to, uh, you know, answer some questions. Play Oblivion? I was actually thinking about it. Do I have an OnlyFans? I do not. Are you? When are you going to end this stream? When I feel like it. Um... Yeah, the, the thing is about Oblivion is I'm kind of scared. I played the game to test it. I used the kill co a command on a important person. Um, and then uh, I, it, it blue screened my computer. And thoughts on Syria. That's not a serious question. Um, and what do you think about German's last stream? Did he have a, a final stream? Or do you mean as in, like, his last stream that he did? Because I don't keep up with his streams, really. Thoughts on Among Us? Um, I hate the memes. The game is alright. But it's kind of basic. The fun really comes within who you play with. Archaeology stream? His baking stream was fucked uh in my opinion because he he was not prepared for anything thoughts on being sus hmm hey um ben can you time out uh kefer's 618 <coughs> 618 for making an among us joke <laughs> do I got it? You're my mod. You have to do what I say. Time him out for uh, five seconds. Can I be mod? No. I have a suggestion for you guys. Go watch Bojack Horseman. It's one of my favorite um, dictatorship. Yeah, I don't want free speech in my chat. I'm sorry. Why'd you put him? No, un untime him out. Ben, untime him out right now. See, this is what I was saying. You guys are go getting too fucky. I literally said fucking five seconds, but all right. And you guys are just asking really dumb, sh stupid ass questions like I knew you were going to do because you guys are a bunch of unhinged fucking lunatics. You're unhinged. Are you Hitler? No. How do I undo it? Untime out. It's the slash untime out. It'll, it'll tell you. How? In your chat, slash untime out. Oh there you go. You did it. Good job. We are the only people watching your stream. There was like two other people. That were not you guys. That's sus. Yeah. Keep making Among Us jokes. Six people watching? I don't think that's true. I think it's just four people. Plus two.
it's sad because I literally just complained about people making Among Us jokes and how it's just people, unfunny people trying to be funny. It's so depressing to just see it in action. Reason. Second. God. You guys need to chill out, though, please. Like, I get it. You're, you're a Twitch chant. Haha. <laughs> you're so fucking funny. You're not... You're on a VC together, acting fucking 1IQ. I wish you guys gave me legitimate topics. Instead of spamming Korean letters. Hey man, don't pull out the 9! <laughs> I don't... I don't know. You know, I'm just saying this right now. You guys are the peak of... It's your, it's your take on gay people. They're fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's the same as just everyone else. Everyone should just be treated equally. Liar. Liar. You hate gay people? When did I say that? Okay. Yeah. This is the future generation. You guys give me hope for the future. Unbased and blue pilled. Oh no. I care about equal rights. Oh god. God. No! No! Everything has to be white! It's you. Monkeys on Detroit. Okay. You know, I like monkeys. I think they're pretty cool. I don't know why we'd have them on Detroit. Why not in Detroit? Does Detroit even have a zoo? That's not what I mean. I... I don't... I hated that movie, Space Chimps. You know, you guys remember Space Chimps? I'm gonna pretend you do. Um, my issue with Space Chimps is that I have a, um... I have a specific memory of it on, uh, just poor people. I don't know why Space Chimps reminds me of, like, a cracked in or poor people, but what's your next stream going to be? Um, probably Shinmu. I'm just going to continue playing Shinmu. And then, um, when the new update, when the new DLC for... Binding of Isaac comes out. Repentance. I'm gonna play that. Play Papers, Please. I already did. I beat the entire game in one stream. You missed out, buddy. By like a month or two. Fuck. Go back and watch it then. If you want to watch that so badly. Because I know you're not gonna watch it. But, you know. No. Yeah, see? I'm not watching the gay N-word from outer space. Or whatever they're called. Whatever it's called. I'm not watching that. I'm good. Oh 
only live watch. Yeah, only live watch. You haven't been to any of my live streams for the past five months. <laughs> Troll. You seem mad, young blood. Yeah, I have a bunch of delinquents coming in here, literally just memeing. For the sake of entertainment for themselves. I mean, hey, it makes the, inter it makes the stream more entertaining to yell at you guys. Because it's like, I'm like babysitting you now. <laughs> yeah, live watch. Yeah, live watch. Four of us. Yeah, a bunch. I don't have to be perfect in the English language to, for you to understand what I meant. What is it, Aki? Are you fapping right now? I think I'm gonna end the stream. That's gonna be it. Yeah. You have a good night, good afternoon, good morning, good day. I'll see you in the next one.